The study of transportation has always been an important asset in human history. Through new inventions, our society built a transportation network that enables us to access goods and services in a fast and efficient way. Now if we zoom from this macrocosmos into the microcosmos of our own body, we see an even more advanced delivery system, which we barely understand. Now of all the molecular pathways and actions that happen in our body, is our group especially interested in one molecule, vitamin E. Vitamin E is one of the key molecules that protects our cells. Vitamin E is fat soluble, and for this reason, mainly found in the cell membrane, where it protects the membrane from radicals, super reactive molecules that normally destroy our cells. What I want to find out is, how does the fat soluble vitamin E get transported specifically to the membrane when humans are to the widest extent a big bag of water? So far known is that vitamin E is transported by a protein called TTP, but what forces guide the specific delivery are unknown. In our lab, we use the help of fluorescent molecules to track the TTP. Now, fluorescence is really simple. You shine light with a low wavelength onto a molecule, and the absorbed energy is given off in a higher wavelength. Now, higher wavelength penetrates much better through cell tissue than lower wavelength. And this allows us to follow fluorescent molecules in the cell by a fluorescent microscope. So I created a fluorescent analog of vitamin E that has a high affinity to the TTP protein and now we can see how it travels around in the cell and how it interacts with other cell compartments. Now, my work also uh, took the attention of one of our long-term collaborators at Case Western University. What he found was that when mice lack vitamin E over a prolonged time, that they get neurodegenerative damage in their brains. Now he needs my compound to create 3D images of the brain to see the regions that are affected and hopefully to see how we can prevent that. With gaining further insight on how vitamin E protects our brain, we hope to stop the neurodegenerative processes and hope to stop diseases like Alzheimer's.